Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly. I am a lymphedema and cancer physical therapist. Today in this video, we're gonna go step-by-step -step on how to apply kinesiology tape to a knee that is swollen or has lymphedema. But before we begin, make sure that you subscribe down below for weekly new videos. You can also follow along with us on Instagram or check out our website for more resources. Now, in my opinion, kinesiology tape does not replace the benefits that a compression stocking or garment provides for someone who has moderate to severe lymphedema. But kinesiology tape can be a really great tool and resource for someone who has mild swelling or pain. So what are you gonna need before we start? You wanna have some sort of kinesiology tape. You can find it on a roll like this one, or they come in pre-cut strips. I personally prefer the roll because I use various lengths with my um, application of kinesiology tape for different parts of the body. But if someone has a very specific length, the pre-cut strips might be nice. You'll also need a pair of scissors, and you wanna make sure that you don't have any lotions or oils on the area that you're going to apply the kinesiology tape because then it won't stick very well. You want to make sure that the skin is fully dry and you want to make sure that you have no cuts, no wounds, no areas of infection, and you want to make sure that you never do this over an area that has any active cancer. So how can kinesiology tape actually work for swelling? When the tape is put against the skin, it actually will lift the skin up a little bit and there will be space in between the skin and the tissues below that. That space that is now created changes the pressure gradient in that area. And that causes that fluid in that area that's swelling to move into lymphatic vessels to get moving out of that area, which will help decrease the swelling and the congestion. Kinesiology tape is gentle on the skin. However, you always wanna do a test site first on a small area of the skin, just to make sure that you don't have any reactions to the adhesives. The tape should be applied directly to the skin and it can stay on for up to three to five days as long as someone's monitoring for any skin irritation. It is also okay to shower or bathe with the tape on, but some cases the tape doesn't stick as well. So you always wanna make sure that you also pat it dry rather than rubbing your skin dry to make sure that we're not pulling that tape up as well. Okay, so we're gonna go through and show how to apply the strips to the knee for knee swelling or lymphedema. Now we have the two options we talked about earlier is that you have the kinesiology tape that comes on a roll that you can cut whatever size you want. But for the knee, because they're usually about the same size, the pre-cut strips actually work pretty well for this one. So we're gonna use that for this, where I'm gonna take two pieces, and again, I'll show um, down below in the description where you can find different kinds. If you're doing just a general roll, you can just cut strips that are about the length. This one has um, about five boxes, which they're all pretty equal on the back, so you can cut those up too. Because the pre-cut strips already have rounded edges, I don't need to round the edges. But if you have the roll, what you need to do first is to take your scissors and corner, take the corners and round them off so they don't peel up as easy when they're sharp. So that's the first thing you'll do if you don't have a pre-cut strip. But because we do, we're gonna move on. So I wanna cut the strips into four different strips, leaving about one inch or so at the top. And so I'm gonna cut straight down the middle all the way down the length of this strip, but I'm gonna leave about an inch, inch and a half or so at the very end. And then what I'm gonna do from there is I'm going to cut these into two other strips. So cutting down the middle, leaving that one inch, one and a half inches, and then one more And then we have our four equal strips with our anchor inch or so at the end. Lengthen that a little bit. But then what we wanna do is we wanna round out the other edges because we did cut them down. So you can do one at a time where you just round out the corners. Or I like to do is just stack them if you're just doing a couple at a time and then cut them all together just to speed it up. Take those edges and put it off to the side. 
So then we have this first strip prepped and ready to go and be applied. But we're gonna get the other strip prepped and then we'll start. And there we go, we have our two strips that are prepped and ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and apply them. Remember, make sure that you don't have any oils or lotions on the knee or the skin before you apply it. When it comes to knee swelling, we really wanna get as much full coverage over the area that's swollen as possible. And so we're gonna use these strips and spread them out to just cover the area. We'll do one on the inside, one on the outside. The anchor should be closer to your body versus your foot and the strips will come down towards your foot over the knee. And then we'll do the same thing on the outside, kind of crisscrossing them over themselves. I like to do this in a position with a bent knee to give a natural stretch to the tape versus trying to give a lot of tension. So first thing we wanna do is tear off the paper backing of that anchor piece. We're gonna pull that back. And then from there, I'm gonna start on the outside, just a couple inches or mm, three or four inches above the knee itself. And then apply that down. And then I'm gonna rub that in because the warmth is what activates the adhesive. Okay, then from there, we're gonna do one at a time. I'm gonna start on the bottom one, does not truly matter. You're gonna pull it back Pluck back the paper, leaving about an inch or so at the end. Okay, and then just give this ever so slight tension. You don't wanna pull really tight. This, this uh, tape does stretch a lot. Just the slight tension with your knee bent and then just follow over the area that might be swollen, kind of across to the other side. And then we'll go to the next one, peel it back, leave an inch ever so slight tension, kind of follow pathway. And then that last little inch at the end, I should have said this in the last one, you pull it up, but you don't put any tension. You just lay it flat where it's at. That makes sure that the tape doesn't get pulled up. And then the third, peel back, ever so slight tension. And it is okay if the tape crosses over itself a little bit. We try to get as much full coverage as possible though. And then one more. Crossing over. And this one I will cross over itself. Okay, and once we have all four of the strips down, we're going to rub it in. And that is the first strip. So then we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. We're gonna tear off the paper backing. Put that aside. And then we're gonna start from the inside, kind of the same height. Rub that in. And then same thing. So I'm gonna start in the bottom one, pull the strip back, slight tension, but bent knee, crossing over. Second one, go a little bit higher. Third. And then one more. Just making sure I get all the coverage I need. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and rub that all in. Careful on the ends so we don't peel them up. And that's how we apply kinesiology tape to a swollen knee or one with lymphedema. Someone can just do one strip if they like, they can add another strip in the back of the knee, whatever works for someone, whatever they need to get as much full coverage as possible. And that will help lift the skin up, change the pressure gradient and get the fluid moving out of that area. 
Now, before we take it off, we want to just make sure that, you know, it can stay on for a few days, but if it starts to peel up, you can kind of cut off the edges so we don't get caught too often. You can leave it on longer. Again, making sure you're watching for any allergic reaction. But when you're ready to take it off, it's best to start, you know, from the top and down rather than pulling up against the skin, really holding the skin taut as we pull. It's also easier if we put a little oil, like baby oil, on it just to help loosen up the adhesion or the adhesives so that we're not irritating the skin as much as we pull it off. Again, now if you're looking for other videos for kinesiology tape and where to apply it for other parts of the body, I have a lot of other videos that you can check out on my channel. But other than that, I hope you found this video helpful and we'll see you all in the next one. Thanks everyone.